Today, we're gonna add a blaster effect in Photoshop to make your toy photos really pop. Let's get it. Adding blaster effects to your toy photos really does give them that kind of extra edge, a bit more life and a bit more detail to them. And it can make the difference in just a standard trooper shot, for example. Now to do this, it's actually very, very simple. We're gonna be doing this in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's jump into there right now. So in Photoshop, as you can see, we have this 501st clone trooper here with his blaster and stuff a little bit out of focus over here, but that's fine. We don't need that to be in focus. Right. So first we're going to add a little lens flare, which I've already downloaded over here. If you just go into Google and type in like flash of light or, you know, lens flare PNG, make sure it's a PNG or an overlay so you can, uh, so you can do this. So we're just going to drag that right over here. Sometimes yours will come in in a black background. So if you've got like a black background behind it, all you have to do is change the blend mode over here from normal uh, all the way down to screen over there. But for this one, it's absolutely fine. I got lucky with it. So we're just going to line this up and resize it. So to do that, hit Control or Command T while the layer is selected, obviously, to transform it. What you want to do, hold Option or Shift when you're resizing this and it will just it will resize everything in proportion. So let's bring that down a little bit. What we can also do is if you right click this, we can go to perspective as well. So we're gonna do the same thing again. And we're just gonna change the perspective of this. So it's kind of facing the way in which our trooper guy over here is directing said blaster. So this is basically just take your time do what needs to be done and get that all lined up. Once that's there, it's okay. So we've just got this little flash of light over here at the moment, which is gonna be our like blast. So the blast actually thing, <laughs> the blast actually thing, the blast itself, what we're gonna do is gonna create a new layer by clicking this button down here. Uh, we're gonna go to our brush, make sure it is white in selection. We're gonna go for hardness at 100% here. Uh, I've got mine at about 72 pixels. Obviously this will change depending on the aspect of your photo and whatnot. So what we're gonna do is click once, hold down shift, click again, and that creates a straight line for us. We're going to do the same thing again. Hold down Control or Command T uh, just to resize this and get this how we want it. So again, take your time. Just get it lined up. Get a blaster size and direction that you are happy with. And uh, then we will move on from, from there. Right, so I'm pretty happy with that. So this is where the magic comes into play. What we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this layer. So if we call this blaster bolt, for example. So what we're going to do is if you hold control or command and then J, it duplicates the layer. Do that again. So we've got three copies. What we're going to do is we're going to add a bit of a blur to this. So select that first layer. We're going to go over to filter. Then we're going to go down to blur, Gaussian blur, and we're going to add a different amount every time. So the first one will be four pixels. The second one is going to be 25 pixels. And then the third one. Oh, yes, let's go. That's going to be big boy 40 pixels. So what we can see is we've already got this nice kind of glowing effect going on over here, which is absolutely perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to merge all of these layers together, including the little flash that we've got there. So hold shift and click and that will select all of these together and then we're going to right click and merge layers so they become one now so what we want to do is we want to add some motion to this so what we're going to do is we're going to go to filter we're going to go to blur again but this time we're going to go to motion blur so what you want to do make sure you kind of select your angle in which the bolt is the bolt is going so to speak i've got mine set to about 99 but obviously as you increase this you can see that blur gets crazy or there's like no blur there at all i usually found around about the 99 100 works pretty well for this maybe even yeah let's go let's go 110 for this one i quite like the little effect it's got going on there so hit okay on that and then we have our blur next thing we want to do is we're going to create a solid black layer on top of this so create a new layer 
in that button. Then this little button over here will bring up a menu. Hit solid color right at the top. We're going to change this to a black. Hit OK on that. Once that's done, we're just going to simply drag that underneath our blaster layer. And we've got this fantastic image over here. So what we're going to do again is we're going to merge these together. So select both layers, hit the right click option and merge layers. Once that's done, we are going to change our blend mode from normal down to screen. And here we go. We have our we have our troopers back there as well. So the reason we've done this is because we want to affect the colors or the color, I should say, of said blaster bolt. So what we're going to do is hit control or command and then U. And this brings up this little box over here. For me, I have to click colorize. I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but if it's not working, that's why. So we can affect the color of the blaster bolt by changing the hue. So I usually find the clone troopers have this kind of bluish dark blue kind of color. So what we're going to do is get to about there. I'm going to bring that saturation up a bit, make it nice and vibrant. Bring the lightness down just a little bit as well. Probably about there. Uh, another thing you can do is hit Control or Command and M and that will bring up the curves. You can actually uh, affect the actual color by doing it this way. So we can make it a bit darker by going into the blues over here. And if we go back to the RGB, we can also increase the saturation a bit more of said blaster bolt by just dragging the middle point. Obviously, we can hit one in the shadows, bring the shadows down a little bit. And then obviously in the highlights, we can probably do that as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, that looks about right. Obviously, you don't have to go in detail with the curves and everything here. But if you want that added touch, then you can do. So basically, that is the blaster bolt there. But you can go into a bit more detail, which we're going to do now. So if you're happy with that, cool. If you want to add a bit more pizzazz to this, then uh, we'll do that now. So back into Photoshop, what we're going to do is we're basically going to add a glow to the, the trooper from this blaster bolt. So create a new layer again. Uh, okay, go back to your brush tool. This time we want the color of the blaster bolt. So if you click the color over here, we can select the blue or if you go over the picture, you get this little kind of dropper tool. You can click that and you'll get the actual color of that. So I might do that and then just bring up the darks a little bit. So what we're going to do, brush size, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to bring the hardness down all the way to zero this time. So let's have a look. Again, the size of your brush depends on the size of the subject in your image. Let's go to about here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm basically going to brush on where I want this glowing effect to appear on our clone trooper over here. So I'm thinking the blaster bolt is far enough that way. So the glare would come back on him on this side. So I'll probably get a little bit of our guy just up here. It doesn't matter if it's messy to begin with because we will clean that up in just a bit, but just kind of get where you want this, this glow to happen. I basically want it just to affect this, this side of him. Go, drop it off over there. Again, this is all going to be trial and error, so do what you have to do, and I'll show you how we can clean this up in just a second. So there we go. He is nice and covered. Right, so once that is done, what you want to do is go to your blend mode again. This time we're going to go to color dodge over here. So we've got this funky color. What you want to do is I tend to bring my opacity down probably to around about 65. You can bring the fill down a little bit as well. Probably let's have a look. Probably to about 60 there so obviously we can see we've got this nice glow however the glow obviously has gone a little bit off our trooper so to clean that up like i mentioned what we're gonna do is gonna create a little layer mask by clicking this button here when you've got your layer mask here i should say what you want to do make sure your brush is set to black and then we can just paint away those rough edges so it's only the trooper that's affected. The little glow around him does look pretty cool, to be fair. But yeah, we'll just do a quick tidy up of that. I think that looks pretty rad. Perfect. So once you're happy with that, that's your glow done. So this is obviously after, and that's the effect it's done. So before we had that glow, we had nothing there. And after we've we've just got that added pop. It makes like such a huge difference. So this was an unedited photo. This is what it looks like fully edited.
And there we go. That was how to create a blaster effect in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. This one is a super easy trick and there's, there's, there are different ways of doing it. And I may do some more videos in the future showing the different ways in which you can do it. If you've got any questions on what effects you'd like to see me uh, do a tutorial for in Photoshop, be it like lightsabers or, you know, smoke, dust, anything like that, let me know in the comment section below because these are a lot of fun to, to do in toy photography. They really enhance your image and everything like that. And it's a a lot of fun to record i enjoy making these videos so yeah let me know in the comment section below if you have used this blaster effect tip uh, and you found it useful from this video make sure to tag me on instagram in that photo my handle is just down there i'd love to see the shots you've made as always hit the like button as it really does help me out and hit the subscribe button for more toy photography tutorials but till next time i will see you soon take care peace peace